So yes, we poured, and uh, we tackled the Journey to Mars project. And we believe that virtual reality is a good way of solving, you know, our next big adventure, which is traveling to Mars. Um, so getting there is going to take a lot of pl planning, and we believe that VR is a great way to create next generation solutions to the training. Um, and we, so we have two projects, basically one where we um, allow young people to experience Mars, and the second is for training astronauts, which Dre will show. We were inspired by a, f a former um, project, which is the 3D printed habitats. Um, we believe that that is a great idea, and uh, we want to expand that and take 3D models and see what it's like to create more habitats in um, virtual reality. Now, here's the problem with virtual reality that I've suffered from a lot. When you put on a head to display, you cannot see the world around you. You have to, oh, where's my keyboard? Oh, no, hold on. Okay, I need to change this or, or affect this or control that. That is really a hard way of finding a solution. So in that, instead, what we decided to do was ask Halesa to control everything. So we have this website, um, which we'll share in a second. Let me just this screen. That's better. And what we have to do now is say, Alexa, take me to Mars. Oh, sorry. Alexa, ask Sweetport to take me home. Transporting you to home. So it take, it's going to take like three seconds. If it works, or you is can it interact like, by saying commands. Alexa, like to Mars. Take me to Mars. Home. Alexa, take me home. Where am I? <laughs> Alexa, take me to Mars. Transporting you to Mars. <laughs> did it? Did it change? No. This is a three um, sixty video. I'm sorry. Um, four hundred. at Mars. Alexa, cancel. Can you try it? Something changed. Alexa, ask Sweetford to take me to the moon. Transporting you to the moon. Okay, there it is. So it works, um, it trusts me. But um, this is again a 360 image. You're currently located at the moon. Okay, Alexa. <laughs> this is a challenge. But um, again, this is, a, this is a 360 image, and if you, if you can see it on your browser, so. Um, um, or you could you could so do Alexa. Alexa, ask Sweetport to take us to Mars. Transporting you to Mars. Okay, and then you could go to multiple locations in virtual reality. So this is the this is the the um, more open version. So there is also uh, contextual where information that you can request from it. Alexa, what's the temperature like? Here. The temperature on Mars is 251K. And this information is pulled uh, from Wolfram, sorry, this information is pulled from Wolfram Alpha and uh, is con contextual. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, it will be different for each habitat that you're in. However, we have another solution uh, that is geared more towards astronauts and uh, that will more professional use. Okay. Hello. Uh, so this is a uh, VR training simulation that we made that we built for astronauts. Uh, what you see it looks like a little bit like Halo, but it's not. Um, <laughs> so what we allow you to do is just look around. Uh, all of this is actually going to be real data. Uh, let me just bring you out here. So this uh, is our training day five. It's our virtual simulation. And this is our teleportation to Mars. And this brings you out into Mars, you'll be able to interact with different environments. Now, there was a 3D habit, uh, 3D habit challenge that showcases some design concepts. And we wanted to bring that to virtual reality to see how that will be for astronauts and allow them to interact with different stuff in the environment. You see, I have an Oculus Rift here. We also have a Connect hooked up in the back so you can have a full body VR experience. And we'll get more into that later on. But you see that these ponds are here. There's an astronaut there. And I'm going to pray this demo up. But that's it. Thank you for your time. One more thing. If you go to sweetport.bluemix.net, not .com, sweetport.
That bluemix.net, you could try this on your phone now. Oh, well, or later. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Do you have any questions? The simulations, where did you... Where did you get these simulations? Did you find it somewhere or make it yourself? Uh, so there is a lot of data available from Mars, on Mars from Curiosity. So the images that we are pulling from Mars are from uh, Curiosity. Uh, we also uh, tried the Wolfram data. Uh, it actually can render uh, a 3D image of Mars. Uh, we didn't include it in the final presentation, but that's uh, actual real data. Well, not uh, the habitat there, but soon. Yeah. Awesome. Any more questions? Thank you, guys. Thank you.